My name is Imelda Heher and I work here in the Marine Institute in Fisheries Ecosystem Advisory Services um, as a marine biologist in this picturesque location here as you can see. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about my education and my profession to date as a marine biologist and some top tips for students out there and graduates that would like to pursue a career in marine biology. Um, so I suppose I started my undergraduate um, in GMIT doing a certificate in applied biology and then I, I then changed path um, pursuing a diploma which was a, also a degree in um, applied aquatic science um, which is the equivalent of the marine science uh, degree in GMIT at the moment. Um, and this was really opened my eyes to the marine world, uh, giving me valuable experience in boat handling, skills, fisheries assessment and uh, sea survival. I travelled and I worked in Portugal for a year, um, working on a research project, um, experimenting with microalgae and its preservation methods. And um, this was a really a valuable experience to me also, because I got to interact with a different culture and explore another marine habitat. Um, I then went to the UK where I completed a degree in environmental science um, and after this time I found I started to seek employment and I found that I wasn't I didn't really have enough work experience in one individual discipline so I decided then that I was going to further my education and take on a postgrad so I started to research postgraduates and I found that the masters in GMIT um, in fisheries was more suitable to my needs really. Um, so this two-year um, master's entitled The Age Growth and Reproduction of Whiting in the Celtic Sea um, was a two-year project part funded by the Marine Institute and GMIT. So the first six months of the project I spent in Dunmore East uh, collecting my samples and analysing them. And then I came back to Galway where I worked in conjunction with GMIT, NUIG and the Marine Institute on the ageing, histology and the fisheries assessment part of the Masters. This opened my eyes to you know, the broader marine world and different places of work. I really enjoyed the Masters experience as this was a two year long research post and I took on additional tasks during that time. Um, I worked as part-time lecturer in biology and agricultural science and this really helped and en enhanced my presentation skills and it just was a really fantastic experience for me. I also went to sem seminars, um, conferences and training courses and built up my skill set hugely during those two years. In the final stages then of writing up my thesis for the Masters, I started to seek employment and I saw the job offer in the Marine Institute where I applied and thankfully was successful um, after one interview. Um, the interview panel was made up of three people um, I found it very relaxed and friendly. It was really good timing for me because they were actually looking for somebody that was an expert in age reading of whiting, which was the focus of my masters. So it just all worked out really well at that time for me. I'm in the Marine Institute 10 years this year and my job involves a wide variety of tasks from working in the laboratory to sampling at sea to going around the ports um, all around the country um, getting samples and then office and desk based work also. So there's a huge variance so you're not just stuck in the office 9 to 5 um, but then you have the other side of it where you are away from long periods of time on a boat maybe for 10 to 20 days and so on. So some of my current responsibilities um, in the job today include participation on surveys on board the Celtic Voyager and the Celtic Explorer and I've also taken on the role of chief scientist on board some of these surveys and um, which has been a real huge challenge for me in my job um, but also a very rewarding one when you come back from the survey you have all the data and you know the survey is complete successfully. Um, I also um, travel around the various ports around the country uh, collecting um, information on the commercial landings. All this at sea sampling and at shore sampling 
produces a huge amount of samples and data which all have to be worked up and entered onto the various databases that we have here and validated and quality controlled. So I suppose this is the part of the job where you need to have patience and you need to just make sure that you know everything is done correctly and to a very high standard. Some of the surveys that I participate on include the Grand Fish Survey where we sample all around the coast of Ireland uh, the juvenile fish stocks. There are also Nephrop underwater TV surveys, uh, which I play a huge role on. Um, there's three of these surveys over the summer, which are three 10-day surveys. And we do these surveys on the Celtic Voyager. And we go to the Aran Grounds for one of the surveys. We also go to the Porcupine Bank, go out as far as there. So that's quite a different experience on the Voyager, because if the weather conditions are not very nice to us, it can be quite rolly and jumpy. Um, and also we go down to the Celtic Sea and to the Irish Sea to survey the nephrops. All surveys to sea, and especially for me over the last 10 years, have varied significantly. Um, you know, surveys range in length from 10 days to 21 days, where you are at sea completely day and night for 21 days. And, you know, during this time, you may work shift work where you'd be working six hours on and six hours off and so on. So sleep patterns are interrupted and so on. Um, you can have rough conditions. We have been out on the Celtic Explorer in Force 10. Um, and but also, you know, you get the flat cam conditions where it's just absolutely beautiful and you do have dolphins swimming by the boat. And, you know, that is the ideal situation. But, you know, I suppose anyone that is interested in pursuing a career in marine science ha needs to know that there is the rough side to it as well. And that, you know, it is probably a really good idea to test your ability to work at sea under difficult conditions because it's not for everybody and you know that's what I would mainly advise anybody that wants to pursue a career in marine science is to test your ability because you don't want to find out after you've done an undergraduate or a postgraduate that you are incapable of working at sea. I have participated in international exchanges in Whiting and in Cod where um, colleagues from all other European countries amalgamate and we go through a reference set of ageing structures for interpretation and for standardisation. Attending these international workshops and working with our international colleagues is really important for standardising our protocols across the board because all our data feeds into the EU and it's important that we are standardised with our European colleagues. I love my job and I really enjoy working here in the Marine Institute because I get to work outdoors, I get to work on boats, I get to work in the laboratory and I get to work in the office so it's just a huge variety of tasks and there is no real room for boredom. I love to learning and taking on new tasks and challenges when the opportunity arises. Okay so some top tips for students and undergraduates that would like to pursue a career in marine science. Um, I think the first thing I would say is that you're never too young. If you know that you want to work in the marine sector, that you can always be doing um, little steps along the way to enhance your skills. So in secondary school, I know the transition year program gives you an opportunity to go out and seek work experience in your area of interest. So use this to the best of your advantage. You can join a volunteer group like the Irish Whale and Dolphin Group and um, get to know a little bit more about the marine sector. You can also volunteer in an aquarium where it will help with your social skills, it will help with identification of fish and benthic species and help in your zoology. Also you can talk to your career guidance and make sure you use this facility, they're there to help you and to put you on the right path. Um, opportunities for undergraduates then are endless as well, I mean always be thinking outside the box, always be thinking of extracurricular activities that you can take on that will increase your skill set all the time. So for example we have a bursary program which is available here in the Marine Institute where this is an opportunity after you've completed two years of an undergraduate you can apply for an eight-week program that is paid and where you get to work in the field and experience what it would be like to work as a marine biologist. Also there is the Smart Sea program. Um, this is based actually in GMIT and 
colleagues from the Marine Institute work on the Smart Sea project, Paula McQueen and John Boyd, where you get the opportunity to work at sea. And this, I think, is a huge advantage to students nowadays because it gives you that opportunity to work at sea and to see if it is suited to you before you take on a huge career in marine biology. I would also advise undergraduates to sign up for volunteer work, um, check vacancies you know, with the different companies both in Ireland and abroad and sign up for vacancies so you get alerts about them when up vacancies become available. Um, also choose projects you know during your studies that you are interested in that will help you help to increase your skill set all projects involve collecting data analyzing data and all these skills are transferable to whatever area of marine science that you work in so it's invaluable experience and make sure you get the most out of that for example in GMIT you get to work for six to nine months in industry placement which is a huge advantage also where you get to actually go out and work in the field. Um, you can use this to your advantage as well if you want to go and work in a foreign country like Canada and Aust or Australia or New Zealand where marine science is really flourishing and advanced compared to Ireland. So you don't need to find a placement in Ireland. You can always go abroad and find a placement abroad so take the initiative and you know seek out opportunities for yourself because it will be hugely advantageous to you you will get to work in a different culture you will get to explore different marine habitats and all this is experience and invaluable experience and irreplaceable experience in your life so to summarize i would like to just you know emphasize that gaining work experience in your field of interest is hugely advantageous and it will work in your favor Thank you very much, good luck and thank you for listening.